What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to do Fizz Buzz and Dart. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to do Fizz Buzz and Dart. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to do FizzBuzz and Dart. And FizzBuzz is sort of a traditional interview question if you go on coding interviews. Uh, it was popular 10, 15 years ago. I don't know if they're still using it. Probably not because it's fairly simple, but that's what we're going to do in this video. So FizzBuzz is basically a little exercise where they ask you to print out the numbers between 1 and 100. If any of those numbers is divisible by 3, also print out Fizz. If it's divisible by five, also print out buzz. If it's divisible by both three and five, print out fizz buzz. So you're gonna have 100 numbers printed on the terminal. Some of them will have fizz next to them. Some of them will have buzz next to them. Some of them will have fizz buzz next to them. Some of them will just have the number. So that's what we're gonna do using Dart. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Dart videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So the first thing we need to do is obviously just create a variable. So let's go int and we'll call this num and let's set it equal to one, right? Cause we want to print out between one and a hundred. So if you wanted to print out the numbers of between one and a hundred, how would you do that? Well, lots of different ways to do that. I'm just going to use a little while loop. It's quick. It's easy. We know how to do it. So let's create a while loop. Let's go while and let's go while num is less than or equal to a hundred. Now we want to use less than or equal to, cause we also want to include 100. So less than or equal to, and then inside of here, we just want to print out num. Now this is a while loop. We also need to increment our counter or else we're just going to get an infinite loop. So let's go num plus plus. And here, let's just say increment the counter, All right? So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that worked, right? I'm saving this as fizz.dart. Let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C dart stuff directory and let's run fizz.dart. When we do, we see boom, one through 100. So, all right, that looks pretty good. So far, so good. So now let's get into some logic here. And let me just get rid of this because we don't actually want to do that yet. So we've done logic already. We could do an if statement. So let's say if, and let's start with the fizz buzz category. So if a number is divisible by both three and five, we want to print out fizz buzz. Well, how do we know if a number is divisible? Well, we talked about our operators way back when one of them is the modulus, right? That returns a remainder. So we could say if num modulus five equals zero and our double and signs that allows us to make two conditional statements, right? And num modulus three equals zero. Well, then we want to print and let's just go num, let's put a period and let's go fizzbuzz. So that should work. Now we can do else ifs for all the other conditions. So we could just knock each of these out. So let me just copy this. So if num modulus three equals zero, well, that is, and let me just copy this thing. So we don't have to keep typing this out. So if num modulus three equals zero, that's fizz, right? We can do another else if num modulus five equals zero, then that's going to be what? Buzz. And finally, we have else. We just want to print out the num, right? So let's go ahead and save this and run it. I think that's kind of all there is to it. Pretty simple, right? Let's head back over here, run this guy again, and boom looks like it worked. Let's spot check this. So three, that's fizz, five, that's buzz, obviously, nine fizz, 10 buzz, 15 is our first fizz buzz. It's divisible by both three and five. You can divide 15 by three, you can divide 15 by five. So we get fizz buzz, same thing for 30 fizz buzz. Yeah, this looks good. Spot checking this throughout. I think we've done it. There we go. So pretty simple. We've done this in lots of other programming languages. This is just sort of a fun little program you would do. Like I said, there used to be an interview question. I think interview questions are a little bit harder than this these days. But uh, back in the day, this was an interview question and uh, pretty simple. Now, this is not the only way to do this. You could use different loops. You could do different logic. You could do all kinds of different things. So give this a try. Try to do it a different way than this. Try and do less lines of code. Maybe make it a little more elegant. Play around with it. See if you can make a better solution. Less lines of code, like I said and uh, have some fun with it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. 
and check out Codemy.com. We can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.